My brothers and sisters, the Lord is with you. For the gospel of according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The people were filled with expectations, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with fire and spirit. After all, the people, after all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Amen. Once again, good evening. See, you always learn something new when you come to the uh, parish. And we learned tonight that there are five Gospels. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and John Luke. Mark Luke. You know what's interesting? Is that we as a church, basically all of Christianity, places so much emphasis on the birth of the Messiah, on the birth of Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Son of God. And yet it's only in two of the Gospels. Two. And you know what's in four of the Gospels? The baptism of Jesus is in every Gospel. In tonight's gospel, we don't witness the actual baptism, but we witness what Jesus was doing after he was baptized. He was praying. And he received that wonderful reward of, you are my beloved. And I, I know I've mentioned this to you before, but God had a special nickname for Jesus. He called him his beloved. And hopefully, each one of us can hear the same thing, that we are God's beloved. And if we are God's beloved, well then we've got a certain responsibility, a responsibility to truly show what it means to be beloved by God. And in Jesus, we see what it means to be beloved by God. And if we look at Jesus and John, who were blood related, they were cousins. We remember the story of Mary visiting Elizabeth and Elizabeth saying, how can this be that the mother of my God should come to me? And yet they were very different men, very different men. From what we know, historically, they were maybe six months apart in age. But John was a real firebrand. He was a real go-getter. He was the guy who shouted and screamed and as I, I, I think, I, may, I don't know if it was this year, but maybe when we were at the old building, that if John walked into the room right now, and if we were all blind, we know he was here, because we'd smell him. He stunk. He wore animal skin. He lived in the desert. He didn't know what a bath was. And yet, he's the one who proclaimed who Jesus was, who Jesus is. I hate Jesus was, it's Jesus is. Right? Because if we say Jesus was, then all of our faith is gone. There's no resurrection. Right? Jesus is within us, within this place, within this house of God. Right? 
them. And Jesus was, was very different. What after, right after he was baptized, he prayed. He was a person who spent a lot of time alone. He was a person who realized the gift of God that he is to us and that God was to him. And each one of us, in our own way, has to become what we're made in the image, that we're made in the image and likeness of God. Each one of us has to be that John the Baptist, who announces by the way we live, by the way we act, by the way we talk, that we truly believe that Jesus is God's beloved. And that's a tremendous responsibility. That's why at the beginning of the liturgy this evening with the penitential rite, I asked you to think about how we're keeping the promises that were made either for us or we made ourselves if we were baptized as adults. And in a few minutes, we're going to repeat those words and you'll respond. But this is a tremendous gift that we have to be a follower of God's beloved. And if we do that, and if we follow the beloved, when well, we're going to be welcomed into God's reign forever, we'll be called the same thing. God. Pray for me as I pray for you, and may God bless us and keep us. May God's face shine upon us and give us peace now and always. Amen. Amen.